It's that time of year again. The smell of matzo balls fills the air. Hi, my name is Rabbi Avi. I'd like to take you on a tour to see how the South Jersey Jewish community gets ready for Pesach. Follow me. One of the most tedious procedures to get ready for Pesach is koshering the kitchen. I'm standing in front of the Jerusalem restaurant. We're going to take you on a tour inside to see the procedure of what it takes to kosher a kitchen for Pesach. And we take you backstage to see the koshering process. Stayed up all night last night scrubbing all the um, all the dishes and all the uh, all the pots and pans and the ovens. It looks new. The preparation, first of all, you have to kosher all the, all the kitchen, scrap and make sure everything le khumra. Everything le khumra. We're going to have also sweet and sour meatball, we're going to have uh, stuffed cabbage, we're going to have uh, all the rib steak, uh, schnitzel, baby chicken. A lot of cleaning. What is the basics of koshering a kitchen for Pesach? The easiest way to explain it is it's a cleaning process. It's a, a way of cleaning out all the non-kosher. In this case, the chametz has to be very clean. And then um, we boil or burn out the food that gets embedded. It's cleaning in. So do you actually use a blowtorch? Yes. Yeah. Silver foil on top, and turn on the fires all the way. On Passover, even if there's one small crumb, speck of hummus, your kitchen or your food is not kosher for Pesach. That's why the rabbis are so careful to clean and kosher so very thoroughly to ensure that there is no hummus. Some local children get the chance to make matzah for Passover. The matzah bakery at the Shabbat House in Margate is in full swing before opening to the public on Sunday. Hebrew school and preschool kids are baking traditional matzah as it was done in real Passover matzah bakeries. So we have them rolling the dough, um, making holes in the dough, and learning how to make matzah, how we made matzah 3,300 years ago when the Jewish people left Egypt. The children also learned about the significance of the matzah and were able to take it home along with a matzah baker's hat. Hi, my name is Mayor. Welcome to the Chabad Model Matzah Bakery where kids get to learn how to make their own real matzah. Many, many years ago, actually many years ago, you guys say, how many years ago, right? Many years ago. Flower. To bake our matzah. And go like this between the fingers, like this. Tell me what you see fall out. Look at that. See? Uh oh, what's going on? Very good, Lily. Okay, that's good. Pour in the flour quickly. Now, Jake, our water boy, pour in the water. Pour in the water. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Very good. Now, mix, 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 mix. Mix, mix, mix. Yes. All right, good job. Everyone sing. Roll, roll, roll your matzah gently till it's round. Bake the matzah, bake the matzah. Bake. Why do we make the holes in the matzah, guys? Because we don't want it to turn into bread. I love matzah. Everyone say happy Pesach. I want to say, I love my matzo. I love my matzo. The next stop is Plaster and Greenberg Law Offices, where I'm going to give a class about the upcoming holiday of Pesach. Everyone wants to wish us a happy, happy Pesach. Happy Pesach. <laughs> right now, you're looking at the Friday Parsha class. 
These are the members that come every single Friday, rain or shine. In, du in Doug's office. We just received a call from a woman. She's not well. They don't have the finances. They cannot go shopping. And uh, she's calling for some help. So we're going to send one of our staff out there. We're on our way to deliver some food to an elderly lady. Who unfortunately is not feeling very well right now and she can't get out of the house. So we're going to deliver a uh, package for her for Passover. Where are we going, Mayor? We're going to deliver food for Pesach. And the many things Chabad tries to do is visit people who, who are not feeling well or on hospitals or at home, and we try to help them out as well. Thank you so much. Happy and healthy Passover. Thank you. Shalom and welcome. We gather today to perform, to observe, the most rear of Jewish tradition, blessing of the sun. Jewish tradition teaches us that once in 28 years, the sun realigns itself to the position it was in when God created the world. And today we will take a moment to stop and pause and appreciate this beautiful creation. And we will thank God for creating the sun. And it also reminds us I would like all the children to come right over here. Is, did any of you do this blessing before? <laughs> Nobody. How old are you? Six. Bendy, six years old. That the next time we do this blessing, you're going to be 34 years old. Wow. You're going to be all grown up. You're going to have your own family. So I want you to remember this day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the Oh, For the page, many of you know this song. Please join along. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, tradition of burning the chametz. We know that on Passover, on Pesach, Jewish people refrain from eating any leavened bread. Crumbs behind the couch, under the refrigerator. <laughs> Why don't you put it in the fire? I want to that bag. Kol Hamer? Yeah. Kol Hamira v'chamiya v'di'ika v'yashusi. I am Pesach. The spirit is cleaning the car. Ready for tonight's Pesach Seder 2009 at Chabad Show with over 100 people joining us at our Seder this year. People from all over, from all over New Jersey, everyone's coming to join with us. I the menu is a delicious five course meal. We're starting off with a delicious fish menu with fish and salads. Then we go on to the soup menu. The main course is baked chicken with delicious simis and potato puzzle.